I describe myself as uh, an attacking-minded player. Um, I like to take people on 1v1 dribble. Um. Right, you lot, today's video is on another academy prospect. His name's Dan Kemp, and I'm going to be looking into how he's performed and can he fit into a David Moyes side next season. Um, and I was really impressed. Um, a relatively quick player, I think. Obviously, I don't think he was blistering in the way that a Nathan Holland is, but certainly quick enough to get in behind the defence. Um, and what was really interesting was in a couple of academy games, both him and Nathan Holland actually moved into a central position when West Ham were on the attack, almost playing like a second striker. Um, and that's kind of a hallmark of Dan Kemp's game, where he sticks on the right, he's left-footed, but he loves to come central. So he's a player that thrives on space, um, being able to pick up the ball wherever um, and kind of aggressively get at players and take them on. But Dan Kemp likes to slow the ball down, take his time, take his composure and either find that key pass or take it past the defender and get a shot off. And in one clip in particular, he's, he's drifted in and as he's drifted in, he's hit it with his left foot right across the goalkeeper, no chance. And he's done that straight from the wing. Um, Another thing as well that was really good with him was his ability to use both his left and his right foot. I mean, you've got a real anomaly with someone like Dan Kemp where there's footage of him where he's, he's slowed the ball down, he's obviously used his composure with his dribbling, and then he's taken it on his right and then hit it straight across the keeper. Perfect. So he's got a really good strength on both feet, which is really important as well in the modern game. And, it, and it's something that's going to cause defences issues. So from a technicality standpoint, the bloke's fantastic. The only question mark I have over him is, first and foremost, I didn't see a lot in terms of passing. I think I think he had two or three key passes in the games that I've seen, and yeah, they were good, but but nothing compared to a Connor Coventry. Um, so it's not a real asset in his locker, um, and also the physicality element. When he was on loan and he was in League One, a lot of the sort of teams he would come up against were able to bully him off the ball. So even though he was trying to slow the ball down and trying to take them on, that little jolt action, he couldn't get past them because he didn't have that burst of pace. His stature as well makes it very difficult for him to, to compete aerially in the David Moyes team. As we know, that's such a key attribute. So you could find him on the wing being outmarked, outthought in some instances, um, and really bullied off the ball. My, my caveat to that, and from what I've seen is, I think he would be better playing as a playmaker. And the reason why I say this is he has got good dribbling ability. Um, he's very comfortable on the ball. Obviously, his ability to use both left and right makes him an asset from an attacking position. And I do think that, particularly in the clips I've seen, he's able to pick the final pass um, and he's got a great shot on him with either left or right. The closest comparison I can think of with a Dan Kemp just physically is a David Silva. Um, so there are ways to get around being slightly smaller, but I haven't seen anything from him that suggests that he can overcome it with other attributes. In terms of him making a step up to the West Ham side, I don't know. I'm not massively convinced. I, I think he has something to offer going forward, which obviously I've said is really important, but I just don't see how he imposes himself on the team. I think we have players like Grady Dean Garner, um, who's not only shown that he's quick and good at dribbling, but he's strong. And, and really in the Premier League, you've got to be a complete player. And I don't know whether Dan Kemp, whether he could develop different attributes in his game, whether it's a, a better first touch, whether it's being able to just sit in little holes in between the midfield and the defence, that may give him an opportunity to be valuable, but I just can't see him in this West Ham team getting too many opportunities. Final player of this under-23 series is the man, Nathan Holland. He absolutely lit it up when he was at West Ham last season. He went to Oxford and scored that banging goal against Newcastle in the FA Cup, so I will feature that in a, in a couple of little clips just to remind you of how good he is. Um, I've got some brilliant content coming up for you lot. Um, in the next couple of weeks. I've got an interview with West Brom Fan TV. I've got an interview with a with a really good social media um, analyst. He's done some brilliant threads on Twitter that I've seen and obviously I really wanted to get him on because he's got loads of uh, statistical knowledge over some of the targets we're looking at. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. So until the next time, take care.